So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover this amazing lab and this lab is recently updated so here is the updated guide for it. So first of all click on start lab and open the cloud console incognito window. Now here if it asks for username and password check the lab for it. Now click on I agree and then agree and continue. Now first of all activate the cloud shell because we will be performing some of the steps on the cloud shell and some of the step manually. Now here click on continue. And just authorize yourself. Now if you are new to this channel, like the video and subscribe the channel. Also check the description for skill badges and labs. So just now click on authorize. It will take few seconds. So now a lot of uh, participants were facing issues like they are unable to see the text size so I am increasing it because most of you guys are doing with mobile only. Yes, many participants do with mobile. Now let's start the lab. First of all, we will clone this repository where we will be modifying the file and deploying our app. Now the second step is that we have to change the directory and then we will deploy our app. So this basically sets the project ID and configures the project including the region and all the app deployment will be done here only. Now if you ask to authorize yourself you need to just type Y and then hit enter button. Now wait for these to complete. So finally it's done. Now we have to open the editor and modify one file. So I will show you two methods to modify the file whichever you like you will use it for the next labs and future because I want to show how many editors we have and how you can use it. So we are showing two editors first one is the cloud shell editor you need to wait for the all page to load basically the files will be visible as soon as so you can see the file is now visible and with directory also which we have just now cloned. So now what you need to do you have to click on the user authentication with IAP. So now it will refresh itself for a few seconds and then the files will be listed here. Now once it's open you have to open the hello world and the file which we will be opening is the app.yaml file. You have to just open this file you can see here just below the template this file we have to basically modify the runtime version to python 3.9 and then just click on file and save it now click on open terminal now just deploy the app type y and then hit enter Finally the app has been deployed. Now what we have to do, we have to configure consent. That is a lot of you guys are facing one issue. You can minimize the cloud shell or close it also. Now a lot of you guys are facing issue that you are unable to see. First let's see the score. Now I will show you what you need to do. First of all copy this. On the search box, just paste it. It's taking some time. So just click on it on a new tab. Now, now here, here from here click on API and services. Wait a minute. And then here auth consent screen. So previously on the lab it was visible. So you can see when you used to click on identity aware proxy it was showing on the home page only. But now they have replaced it. So now copy the app name. So now first of all we will enable the API and let me tell you what happened. 
so basically the identity aware proxy has been replaced and you have to just use this method like this go to api and services and this first of all you have to set the app then we'll move to the next step after enabling the identity aware api so just paste the app name enter the support email select the app type as internal you can cross verify from the lab instructions now for email address check the lab just paste it click on i agree continue and then create now once it's created you can activate the cloud shell if you haven't now create a auth client so for that we have to use the cloud shell because here we'll be getting the app url so now application type will be a web application and now we don't have to change the name just click on redirect urls add url now come back here copy this and paste on your cloud shell now what you need to do let me show you you have to run this echo command to view the app url now you can copy this via two methods you can drag your mouse from here to here i just select it double click on your mouse cursor so here is the way now you will get this error so what you can do is you can paste this url on your browser window just copy it you can just replace it so it's done now click on create so it will take some time you can click on ok and also wait for a few seconds till it gets updated now if you want you can close the cloud shield but i won't recommend closing it i am closing for my personal reason now just reload the identity aware proxy web page if you don't know how to open you can just type it on the search box and open it now from here click on go to identity aware proxy now here we have to turn off this tower click on it and turn on now you won't get the score instantly for this particular task because lab takes time to update the score and for the last task we have to redeploy the app and before it's before we complete that last task we have to just enable the access to the public user so for that just wait for a few more seconds Now retry to hit check my progress. So we got the score after waiting. Now let's enable the permissions. So copy the username from here. Click on add principal. If you are unable to see this, you need to just click on this checkbox next to the app engine. Now select the role as web app user like this. Just follow the way I am doing. So this part is also done now. Now you will definitely get the score after some time. So just wait. So we got the score and for last task we have to do same thing with another folder so just activate your cloud shell in case you haven't and if the cloud shell is running no need to worry about it now once the cloud shell is ready in case you haven't activated just follow the step that you need to copy the directory from the first step now we have to update this runtime version the name from here now from here type nano space the file name that is app.yaml now just use the down arrow key to go down to the runtime and just right arrow key to navigate now just here just press backspace and update 9 and then control x together you need to save it 
control x y and then hit enter what you have to do control x y and then hit enter now you have to just apply the app type y just type y and then hit enter after that we'll be done with the lab in case you face any issue you can let me know in the comments do like the video and subscribe the channel So finally all steps have been done now let's back to the lab instruction and check the score so thank you guys have a great day we are done with the lab